Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Game Trade One. Uh, this is I own three vintage Japanese like Pong clones, if you want to call them that. They were released in like the late stages of the 70s. Um, you know, the estates had you know obviously Pong was huge, and there's a ton of Pong clones in the states. This is kind of what Jap Japan had to deal with. Um, first one I want to show is uh, th this is a Bandai TV Jack. This is Bandai's first attempt in the video gaming market. Um, I've got the box here. I want to open it up. This is kind of what the system looks like. It's an interesting system in the sense that um, you know you had you had your separate separate controllers right here, and these controllers are kind of interesting. They feel kind of weird. They actually, uh, what's interesting is no matter where you leave the joystick, it kind of stays there. There's no like center to it, which is strange. You got your your action button here, um, and just like most Pong clones, uh, they, all the games. Uh, kind of look the same. Uh, this one has about 10 games built into one. Uh, you've got your on and off. Um, it does play in color, which is kind of cool back in the day. Uh, I think this uh, is like a reset button. Um, and these are different options uh, as far as like, I think speed and, and what goes for the ball. Uh, but if you want to select your game, you've got, you know, um, you got soccer, you got tennis, um, you know, badminton, what have you, uh, hockey. Um, they all pretty much are pretty much the same game. The, the blocks and the the balls are all in just different areas, um, but uh, it's interesting. Now, with with these systems on the states, they will play on TV in the states. Uh, I believe that the station channel needs to be on is like 112 or some kind of random station. It doesn't work on channel two or three. Um, you've got your uh, your AV out uh, right here. I'm sorry, not your AV, but your RF out right here. Your 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 power um, adapter. Um, so um, it's kind of interesting. It's an interesting system. Uh, by Bandai. Now, this later turned into the Bandai uh, Super Vision. It was a later version of this, and obviously Bandai released the Playdia, and of course the ever so famous the Bandai Pippin uh, later on in 1995, which I did a review later. So, the, But this is uh, Bandai's first attempt in the console market, which is interesting. Um, I've got the original instruction manuals, which are pretty useless to me because I don't speak Japanese, but you know, uh, Luke, I may have to have you translate some of that for me um, but anyway um, that's cool so there you go that, there's that now the second system I want to show you is um, the Toshiba now I don't know much about the system actually to be honest with you uh, this is a Toshiba's uh, I think first and only uh, system in the market um, this box has seen, seen some better days but let's open it up and uh, I want to show you the system uh, now unlike the uh, TV jack uh, the controls are, are built into the system here um, and uh, it, I, I believe it's, it's black and white, it's not in color, you got your on and off, um, you got your selector, your replay, which is kind of nice because it's all in English, <laughs> and uh, these are obviously your controls uh, for your, your paddles, so um, kind of not as uh, convenient as far as controls go, but I think the system was about in, back in 78 time, uh, probably a little earlier than the um, TV Jack uh, 1500 is what, this is the version I showed you earlier, so um, that is that system. And then I want to show you, this is my really cool system. This is actually called the Color TV Game System. Um, and it plays, uh, it's 15 games. And what's interesting about this system, it uh, was made by Nintendo, which uh, a lot of people think the Famicom was the first system by Nintendo. But in fact, the little history is back in 77, they released what they call the TV Game 6, which uh, came out and it was fairly popular. Then they released the TV game 15 in, in, in 78, and finally in 79 they came out with the color version, so that's what this is. Now there's two shades of this color. Uh, the system, actually, there's this dark orange. It's got a lighter orange that came out as well. Um, but now what's interesting about, I'm going to out here, uh, what's interesting about this system is um, there's, it doesn't say Nintendo anywhere on the system. Uh, it doesn't even say on the back. The only place it actually says Nintendo, if you look, it says Nintendo right there on the power adapter. Uh, so this is Nintendo's very first attempt in the console market. Um, you've got your, uh, your uh, let's see here, this, this is the on and off right here. And uh, this is um, I think a reset and you got your different games right here you can kind of select. And these pedals actually come out and you can control uh, the paddles and that which is kind of nice. The earlier versions had the controllers were built in, kind of like the Toshiba I just showed you. So this is kind of ingenious. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the TV game. Uh, 15 uh, system by Nintendo um, and it works perfectly it's pretty cool it's in color I might show you some gameplay uh, a little later uh, this is kind of back of it as well um, it looks like there's a storage for, for batteries which is interesting so if you uh, don't want to plug into the wall it will play off of batteries um, 
which is unique. I guess a lot of Pond, uh, Pond clones did that back in the, the 70s. And uh, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching YouTube, and take care.